Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Columbia City. I'm recording this nice and early in the morning right now, so this is going to be a nice one, a quiet one. Not too many crazy planes flying by. I mean, I don't think there are many. There probably aren't that many flights scheduled because it's Christmas, so I don't know. I mean, or at least fewer than usual, obviously, but uh, nice, quiet, quiet morning here. Uh, we are going to be working on a bunch of fun stuff this episode. Well, Maybe not fun, but very important. Um, so what we're going to be doing is two main things. First of all, we're going to be reshaping the skyline in downtown. And alongside that, we're going to be working on a bunch of, you know, like placing some buildings like I am right now, just around downtown, because there are a lot of gaps that need to be filled. But mostly we're going to be working on the skyline and changing the, the main buildings that we have placed. Not all of them, but many of them are going to go and be replaced by uh, other ones. The other main part of the video that we're going to be working on is placing the light rail lines throughout the city and we're basically going to get every single one of them down. We're not going to extend them absolutely everywhere into all of the different suburbs that they're going to go into, but we're going to place really all of the lines that I plan on having. We might have a couple of different extensions later on or uh, smaller connecting lines, but we'll see. For now, we're just placing the light rail lines um, that I know we're gonna have, and we'll place all of the roads for them, basically, and all of the, the lines themselves. We're using the LRT networks um, from, from the workshop, from Klus, uh, I believe is how you pronounce the name, uh, which are amazing networks, and I don't have to use Metro Overhaul Mod. We're not gonna have any subways, but that does mean that we get to see more of the light rails. We get to see them all above ground, and turning at intersections, and stuff like that. Uh, so that'll be cool for cinematics, and I mean, once again, there's a whole story behind that. If you want me to repeat it, it's basically that, well, you know, the, the city is very much based on uh, urban planning, which is favors cars, but recently activists have been sort of successful in, in reversing that to some extent and retrofitting the infrastructure, but not successful enough to get a subway. So all I've gotten so far is a pretty extensive light rail system that goes on the street in downtown. And it's not ideal. I mean, it's basically sort of the same deal that happened with um, uh, the, the blue line or the A line in Long Beach, uh, which, I mean, I don't think anybody was ever aiming for a subway, but right now on the street, it doesn't even have priority. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Expo line finally got priority, which I mean, I don't know how it took that long, but it did. I'm talking about LA for people who don't know. Basically, our transit is really bad and we're sort of improving it, but not much. And yeah, don't 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 expect to go without a car in LA. Not gonna happen. But in Columbia City, I think you can. I think we're gonna make we're gonna basically make it so that if you have a bike and you have a light rail station within five miles of you, you are totally fine. You're good. You can go anywhere, and uh, you'll be good. Or maybe not not five miles, like three miles. Uh, and we're gonna have lots of bike infrastructure on the outskirts of the city, uh, in the form of you know what suburbs do on the west coast, which is basically just have a nice, either big or t just tiny and terrible bike lane um, right next to a big avenue and just hope cyclists don't get hit by cars. And that's just the best they're gonna get uh, once we move outside of downtown. But while we're in downtown, we've got these nice protected bike lanes that I'm probably gonna add some bollards to in some areas and stuff like that. Um, but outside of downtown, we're not going to get infrastructure that, that that's that good. Uh, we're going to have some neighborhoods that are like that. And we're going to also have that sister city, which is going to be, um, I guess, I don't know. I, I, sister city is a very particular word. I don't think that that's uh, what you call it. But um, the city that's going to be across the bay, um, which is either going to be based on Portland or Tacoma, probably. It's going to be an older industrial city. It's going to be cool. Um, 
my FPS is gonna be so bad. It's gonna be so bad. I, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm gonna have like I've got a couple strategies for dealing with it. I'm gonna slowly start unsubscribing from different trees that I've got or like bushes that I don't really need, and that will help me a decent amount. Like the ones that are in the lo like the local houses that I've placed, those can go. I could live without those, and I should probably get rid of those soon actually. Uh, but I am. I'm experimenting with frame rate stuff. I've been having frame rate problems. I'll talk about them more in the next episode. Um, but my frame rate's very erratic, uh, even without Metro Overhaul mod. So I'm gonna work on that. But it's uh, yeah, I mean it, it's pretty hard to pinpoint exact issues uh, in this day and age with all the mods and assets we're using. So we're continuing to place buildings in downtown here. I mean, I'm not going to detail everything. I mean, it's depending on the different, the, the, the block, I'll detail it or I won't. And you'll see basically, uh, if you saw there, I, that building might look new and it is that brown one, uh, with the, uh, the pyramid thing at the top that you're looking at that skyscraper. Uh, it is, it's definitely new and I'll show it to you later in the episode when we're in game. But it is, it's got a questionable texture. Like the texturing is like not as detailed as the other buildings. However, I don't really zoom in that close and the LOD is pretty good and it looks good from afar. So I'm going to probably keep it. Although I might replace it with some building from Dubai or something, but it looks really good and you'll see it as we move on. And it replaces the Columbia Center actually. I also moved that big spire, the sky tower from uh, Auckland, into the middle of that park we made a couple of episodes ago. It's just there, yeah, as you can see, it's just in the middle of the park, and then that's where the observation tower is. I might change where it is, I might not, I actually sort of like the location of it right now. And a lot of people are going to complain that, well, some skyscrapers are blocking the view, uh, and yes, they are, in the financial district there are some skyscrapers blocking the view from the tower, but things aren't perfect in the world people can get a nice view of the mountains and stuff from the observation tower and then their view of the bay on the other side will be obscured because the world is not perfect and uh city bank wants a building in downtown so that's that's why um and we're gonna i mean th th that's just how it's gonna be i mean i, I don't really want to like sink those buildings down uh any further because this is a pretty big city and they're they're basically the height i want them to be I could have like taller buildings in downtown, but I feel like this is about as tall as I want to go, considering the scale you're able to achieve in city skylines in terms of like how big a city can actually get. It doesn't seem realistic to have buildings be any larger than this, just because it's pretty hard to expand a city to a point where that makes sense to any degree. Oh yeah, placing this building by King Leno right here, this like, I forget what it's called, the uh, what 100 Main Street or something. Uh, it's I, I did not I forgot that this existed. It's really cool. It's got a parking garage below it It looks like a really ugly like parking garage that you'd see in like a normal American downtown Just glorious. That's exactly what you want to see because uh, like in in American downtowns. You've got this every, every you know everybody there's no transit so everybody's driving their car into downtown to uh, to park in a parking structure and go up into their building so we've got that that glorious parking structure under the building with really ugly sides.
All right, so we're working on the transit now, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the episode. So basically, the skyline is almost done. We'll continue working on it a little later in the form of like basically just sinking down a couple of tall buildings that obscure some of the larger skyscrapers. Um, but yeah, you'll see that a little later. We're currently, though, working on the LRT network over in that hilly main street that we built a couple of episodes ago. And I'm using the bridge version of the LRT network so that it's got sound barriers on the sides, which I thought was pretty cool because this area is very residential and, you know, you got the NIMBYs not wanting their light rail going through, so the compromise was made that there would be sound barriers. And that's what you got, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, I think the network looks great, and the rail uh, is gravel, which is, I mean, that's totally fine. I mean, when it's elevated, it's, I don't think it's gravel, I think it's concrete. So, or no, we, when it is elevated, it is gravel. I mean, that's sort of fine. I mean, ideally it would be concrete because that's, like, the metro overhaul networks work best, actually, for the network, the type of network that I'm trying to go for in terms of how it compares to Seattle. But I'm just going to have to be fine with not having those because they're just so laggy. Like, it's just such a laggy mod uh, when combined with other mods, at least. Uh, like, apparently it's fine when it's vanilla, but when it's combined with other mods, um, it seems like that's when the problems arise, and it's just so laggy. Um, but... Instead, I'm using LRT networks, and they, I mean, they work just as well, and I'll be able to have everything combined into one network. I'll convert everything to tram in the train station converter mod, or the train converter mod, or whatever. And all things will be good in the world, and we'll have a nice transit network going. And I want to get train, like, actual trains going on the network soon, and I think we're going to be able to on many of the lines, because many of the lines I've actually placed, like, all of the streets you'll see so this line ends up going basically all the way out like this is going to be where the airport is i don't extend it as far as it's going to go because i have no idea how i'm going to develop this area but this is basically what it's going to look like generally it's going to go out towards the airport and that road next to it's probably going to turn into a freeway so it's going to be going alongside the freeway on land that the government already owns because that's how you develop new networks um and uh, I actually do want to maybe do a section where it's in the middle of the freeway because that'd be cool because, I mean, you've got that sort of thing going on with BART. You've got that going on with, like, the green line and the the, uh, the gold line in L.A. Like, stuff like that is very common. you got San Jose's got light rail like that. It's, it's very common on the West Coast to do that, just put the light rail in the middle of the freeway uh, because, I mean, that's sort of where, I mean, that, that's where you've got the land. Because when a lot of these cities are retrofitting existing infrastructure, it's, they, they I mean, to, or not even retrofitting existing infrastructure, you might do that with cycling, but um, to to actually create new infrastructure for, for like, light rail. Um, I, mean, I mean, you need land for that. You can't just do it in a vacuum. And the problem is, like, it, it's very, it's much more difficult and expensive to build new light rail lines than it was to build them in the first place because, and, and just transit lines in general, because you don't have the land. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean that. So you just build in the middle of the freeway uh, instead, and then people complain. Well, won't there be? If you, there's going to be construction in the, the middle of the freeway. Construction. You're going to take one lane from me. Yes, yes, we are. And induced demand means that there will be fewer cars in the road, and nothing will change, and you can ride the light rail instead. If anything, there are going to be so many fewer cars that uh, there will be less traffic overall. Um, but I mean. I guess considering induced demand, basically meaning that if you decrease the size of a road, uh, it's going to have um, you know, decreased traffic. Um, you're not just going to have the same amount of traffic on it, and it's the same thing if you increase the size of a road, like Houston just expands the freeways as much as possible, and they've still got terrible traffic. Um, I mean, considering that law, I guess you could say that there wouldn't really be a change in traffic uh, due to a light rail line whatsoever. But I mean, I think building that, that light rail line that I showed you that was going to go towards the airport before, putting that in the middle of a freeway could be fun because it would be, it'd be cool. Because I haven't really done that. I actually, no, I've got this like failed, I, I don't know if, I don't think I've screen, let me see if I have screenshots from this. Uh, it's this sort of failed, uh, no, I don't, I don't have any screenshots. <laughs> it's this failed, um like LA Metro build where I was building like the way the gold line in Pasadena it didn't actually work out I mean actually it sort of worked out it's just I didn't upload it I was gonna upload it as just like a mini build because that would be fun 
but I didn't upload it. And I mean, it, it was cool. It was really cool, but uh, I think I could do better this time with the LRT networks and sort of base it on BART instead. Like we don't we don't have the um, like the capacity of BART, but we've got a uh, I mean we've got similar looking lines, so maybe that could work. On the other hand, I don't know if I've got one way LRT tracks, uh, so we'll have to see about that. Um, okay, yeah, so I mean we're back in downtown. I've been God, I've been rambling for a long time. Sorry about that, but it's decent filler, and we were talking about interesting stuff, so I'm fine with that. That's fine. Um, we are working on just placing various stuff in downtown. I'm detailing what I can. Uh, it's gonna take a long time to like actually detail downtown. Uh, but these LRT networks that you saw there, I've got, I'm using the ones uh, where it's not the vanilla tram roads, but it's the LRT tram roads that look basically like vanilla tram roads, but have like a different material um, under the trams. Um, and I mean, if, if this is all really confusing to you, I'm going to show you everything in just a moment. Like, we're going to be in game for like 12 minutes or something uh, when the uh, when the live play begins. Like, it's going to be a long uh, live gameplay, or well, not really gameplay, but looking around, a, a very long looking around, um, and you'll be able to see everything. Uh, so right now we're actually working on this, this I guess, avenue here uh, that's got a light rail. You, so you'll see how this ends up going. But we're connecting it to this existing avenue that we've got here. Um, it's not in, when we actually build this. It's not going to all be in the middle of the avenue, but it mostly will be. So this is another thing where you, you retrofitted existing infrastructure to house the light rail because you don't have any land otherwise. Um, but it, it's actually based on the uh, the main line. I, I don't know what the different lines in Seattle are called, but the main line that I can I can see in in Seattle. Um, which goes all the way down to SeaTac, and it, I mean, in, in the area which is actually called Columbia City in Seattle, it's right in the middle of the avenue, and, uh, it's got, it's, it's got rail in the middle of the avenue, I believe it, so it's basically exactly what I placed there, but then at the end of that avenue, I have it split off into, like, its own infrastructure going along the shoreline, and, and then going off over here, I don't even know what we're gonna have over here, but the line goes over here and we'll figure that out when the time comes but um but yeah here's I, I don't know just ignore this rail here because it's just going through downtown basically to get rail through downtown just just ignore that for now uh we're gonna actually remove that later probably and change it i'll talk about the rail infrastructure as well later okay the bridge uh we're here with the bridge this bridge is really laggy and i'll show you later how laggy it is it's really laggy this is the sydney harbor bridge I don't know how to make this less likey. I don't think you can, but it's beautiful and I really want to use it. But I mean, this bridge is something that I hope I can use because it's really good. This is probably, I, I don't know, this might be my favorite, my favorite uh, bridge in the workshop in terms of like how it integrates with the uh, infrastructure that it, it has because it's got all the infrastructure already there. And you don't have to do too much work and it look at that it's just so good um, and I'm gonna have basically rail going across this this uh, peninsula here this peninsula if you're wondering is going to be basically a like a nice wealthy suburb of uh, the city it's good and it's gonna transition into that towards the end of the peninsula and there's gonna be a nice old downtown um, hopefully and uh, most of the peninsula, though, is going to just be a transition, basically, between the city and uh, that wealthy suburb. So we'll see how that goes, but it's not going to just go into wealthy suburb and then we're done. It's going to it's gonna actually transition because obviously we've got the higher density stuff near downtown. Um, but I mean, this city has got, we've got so much to do and that's the point. I mean, I'm just I'm having so much fun with this. I'm like, I'm having more fun with Columbia City than I've really had with a city in... A long time. I mean, if you think about it, I haven't worked on this. Like, I've only had a couple projects in the in the last couple of years because I've been working on New Windsor for about two years now, which is crazy to think. Like, I, how is that two years? I've been working on uh, Calavera Beach for like a year and a half or something. I, I don't even know when I started that. Which, by the way, that series isn't gone. It's just I'm really enjoying Columbia City right now, and I don't really want to like open a different save because Columbia City is a lot of fun, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm just doing that because I'm just doing whatever I'm motivated to do, uh, basically. And Columbia City is that right now. Colorado Beach is not gone. Um, but and then and then uh, 
what's it called? Novoto was somewhere in there. I think I started that actually after New Windsor. Um, or did I, no, I started that before New Windsor. I, I, I honestly don't even remember. We, we finished three different projects on the on the channel so far, which is uh, Falcon Falls, Aramore, and Devota. Um, and I think the next one we're gonna finish is gonna be New Windsor, but I don't know when. It's probably gonna be in like two years because <laughs> that's what happens knowing me. Um, but I don't know, it's just, it's fun to have multiple projects going. It doesn't hurt because I can just open them on different accounts. And I mean, I, I've shown you how to do that in a previous tutorial like the how to make a big realistic city video where I basically just show you how to build a city at scale, which is, I mean, those tips are basically what I'm going to be going by for Columbia City because that's what I need. I need to build a big city that's detailed at scale and it's it's going to be, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's like, I cannot imagine how amazing the city's going to look as we, uh, as we continue with it because I'm really enjoying so far. The infrastructure is good. It's very modern to uh, like, newer city skylines assets and mods and it's just finally a nice up-to-date city that looks great but anyway let's hop in game let's take a look at what we just built and i'll show you some plans for the future all right folks we're in game let's take a look at what we've built in this episode because we've done a lot like this episode uh we, we basically just completely reshaped the skyline and i think it looks like it makes a lot more sense now not just a bunch of buildings plopped in some weird way that i, I don't know it, it makes more sense i'll explain how i think that is the case in just a second but i, I want to actually first take a look at the infrastructure we built because that was sort of towards the latter part of the episode we worked on rail infrastructure and stuff uh and as i might have mentioned before the the like this video is going to be just replacing everything with metro overhaul mod stuff but that didn't end up working out so we're running a whole different system. We're using the, these LRT networks from the workshop and we're gonna use, I mean, these are basically trams. Um, and I mean, this whole pack is absolutely glorious because you don't actually need any mods for it. And it, it doesn't lag your game like crazy. It, it's just a really, really good asset pack. And I am having a lot of fun using it. And the, like, the networks are really, they're really nice. So let's just take a look at like what we've got going here. So first of all, everything's above ground. We don't have any subway. Unfortunately, we do have obviously the rail trench, but that's heavy rail. Uh, we are going to have our central station right here. That's where it's going to be. Uh, and it's going to be sort of, if you can imagine, like a King Street style station. But I'm going to model it more off of like Union Station in LA. We're going to have, yeah, just a bunch of stuff going on here. We'll have the, like these two light rail lines connect because these are the two main light rail lines you'll see in the city. Um, it, so this actually right here is not light rail, that's actually heavy rail, but that's like where the heavy rail is gonna... Okay, so, infrastructure-wise, let's just take a look quickly. We placed the Sydney Harbor Bridge. I didn't know what bridge I was gonna place, and then I looked at bridge in my asset menu, and I saw the Sydney Harbor Bridge, and I'm like, yes, this is perfect. Because we've got this, like, yeah, I mean, this bridge is totally a no-brainer for right here. It looks really good. This asset, like, Bad Peanut made this, uh, is just glorious. Like, this is one of the best bridges we've got in the workshop and but it's lagging me like crazy but that's probably not just the bridge it's probably a lot of things um and it just looks really cool there's a lot of weird like road infrastructure here that i don't even want to bother understanding uh we've got a rail that goes across and we've got uh we've got pedestrian paths a bus lane like really cool stuff so lag please yeah once again i'm gonna trouble i'm gonna troubleshoot my lag soon and try to fix it generally it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this right here, this particular asset is causing me a decent amount of lag. And I zoom out and I've got no lag. Um, but I'm just going to have to deal with that because it's actually, it's such a good asset. And, but ah, the lag is so bad. Um, like it's really laggy. But there might, other, might be other causes as well. Uh, so the plan is here. We've got, this is like a four lane each direction highway, basically, that goes across the bridge. The plan is to split it off, and I've got a, a reference for how we're going to do this. Uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'm going to base it off an interchange in Orange County, actually, um, weirdly enough, but make it more compact. But it's basically going to be, it's going to split across into this. So you've got this, this two lane each direction road with a light rail in the middle, right? That light rail is going to terminate somewhere around here, which is going to maybe be like the town center for the town that's over here. It'll terminate over there. 
and go into some sort of loop, I guess, and then I guess reverse again, and and then that'll be two of the lanes, and then the other two lanes will split off into, or so so basically like this will split off into this road right here, and then um, a like an actual two lane in each direction highway that goes down here and connects to this viaduct. Uh, and that'll be pretty cool. It'll connect everything very well. My only concern in terms of infrastructure over here is we don't have a connection from this highway to what will be this highway. Um, and I'm thinking of making a tunnel, which would be weird, but it would be cool. And there are tunnels in Seattle, so I might do that because it'll be really... Like, it doesn't make sense not to have a connect because the, the only connection is you have to go all the way around here uh, to go across. So I might have to do some sort of connection or have some main avenue that is the main connection that's just uh, chronically clogged. We'll see. We'll have something. Um, but yeah, this interchange, I, I worked on this a little bit. I brought these lanes down to the ground here. These are going to basically be the express lanes for this highway. Um, and they will be at different heights depending on when and where you are, and then they'll end up disappearing at some point. Um, but yeah, okay, I guess light rail, otherwise my plan, so we've got heavy rail obviously going through here. We have this light rail line along the shoreline, which I haven't fully completed, it's just going along the shoreline. The plan is to have it go sort of further through here, which is gonna be industry. This is gonna be industry in the sort of port area. We're gonna have a little bit of industry over here, but it's mostly gonna be like a passenger rail um, hub of some sort, like a rail yard. And we're gonna have this light rail end up going somewhere this way. And it's not gonna go that far. It's just gonna end up along the shoreline with a bunch of apartments here or something like that. And then we're going to have, I mean, we've got this light rail that goes here uh, and across through here. And it will basically end up at the airport, which is gonna be somewhere in this area. Uh, and then there's also this light rail that doesn't really connect to downtown, but it's going to have like a main sort of place where you're able to transfer to a downtown line. So it's basically going to go right around here. We're going to have a transfer station uh, where you can get on this line and go to downtown. And over here, that sort of ends up in the hills here. We'll have towns or whatever, something like that. And the light, like light rail won't end up going extremely far, mostly passenger rail. Like we're gonna have we're gonna have a nice commuter rail system here, and it's going to go in many different directions, including we're gonna have a sort of uh, a split here, and we're gonna have a, a full on because we've got the passenger rail right here going across the bridge, uh, which is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have passenger rail split off over here and have a line go that way, and then uh, up that way as well, obviously. Uh, so that's basically the idea with the infrastructure we built in this episode, which was a lot of infrastructure. We got a lot done. Um, there's still so much to do, because, I mean, remember, this city was based on me wanting to build infrastructure, so I'm not going to complain. Um, okay, so the skyline. What have we got here? So it looks a lot different. I know. It does, uh, because it is. I, what I did, I removed the, the Columbia Center building and replaced it with this one, which doesn't have the best texturing, but it looks really good from any sort of medium distance. The only place you notice the texturing is when you go like right here, and I'm not gonna be right here. I'll be here, which is good. And then the LOD isn't that bad, so nice. I like it. It's a cool building. It's got a lot of uh, detail to the um, like the actual shape of it. I, I think it looks unique and cool, and I like it, so we're using that. Uh, but I also could replace it with maybe a building from like a cool building from the Dubai collection. Um, that could be cool. But for now, that's the building we're using. And also the colors work pretty well with a bunch of the other like faux brick buildings around here. And then over here is like the, the main financial district. Uh, we've got a bunch of different um, finance firms up into here. We'll place logos in the buildings soon and it'll be cool. Uh, we've got one old building, one to play, or a couple older buildings ra rather in here. Um, there are a bunch of just old buildings scattered throughout here, but they're in the main core. I listened to some of your advice and I removed the main, like all, all of the old buildings that were not in the core, except like there, there are a couple over here. Like there's this one old building right here. Uh, I think we've got this one, it's a couple scattered around, but mostly they're in the core. Uh, what I did, there was a really tall old building that like an art deco building that was like right here. 
and I replaced it with another, like this was not intentional. I placed it with the same building that was right here because uh, it the shape fit pretty well. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh wow, I guess I, since they're the same, I have to remove it. But then I realized maybe the same firm bought the two plots and just built from an identical building. And that's what we've ended up with. So I'm just gonna stick with this, this is fine. And the monorail, I don't know what's gonna happen with it. The problem is I don't really have anything for it to go to anymore because the observation tower is now in downtown and we're not gonna have a Space Needle. Except the Space Needle could also be like somewhere on a hill or something like that. Like we could have the Space Needle be up on this hill and have the monorail like somehow go through the interchange and be some really stupid, I don't know. But I wanna have a monorail because it looks cool. It looks really cool and I have Seattle monorail assets that I wanna use, so I don't think I'm gonna remove it. We'll see though. I love that apartment building by the way back there with all those balconies. That's cool. It's an awesome asset. Where where is the apartment building? Right here. Look at that. I like that. Um Okay, yeah, I mean that's basically it. We've got all the infrastructure. Like I guess I can t take the transit thing out and show you what the transit infrastructure looks like. Yeah, so like this basically uh, it's not showing this as purple when I zoom out, but it is. That's tram right here that goes across there, which once again will function as, you know, a nice light rail system that slows down when you get into downtown. But uh, once again, the subway infrastructure did not work out. And then this line will terminate over here. This line will go over here. And then this line will probably terminate somewhere over here and then go all the way to that way and you can transfer at different points. This line will go over here. This line might connect up. Maybe we can have, cause remember we're gonna have a sister city. Uh, and I don't, I've, I've, I'm trying to figure out which city to base it off of. I think it's gonna be based off of Portland. Um, I think it's gonna be based off of Portland just because Portland is another city that's got a really cool downtown core. It won't be as big as Portland obviously, but it'll be based off of Portland, either Portland or Tacoma, like we're fi I'm sort of figuring that out right now. And I think it's gonna be over here. That's the plan at least. Cause I could, I mean the, if you look at the topography here, that's basically like downtown Portland could be right here and that would make total sense. So that's the idea, maybe. I've got so many ideas for the city. My FPS is gonna tank, it's already tanked because there's so many trees and stuff that I've placed here and I have to unsubscribe from some of them because it's just too, yeah, it's too much. The frame rate drop is intense, but I think we're gonna be able to manage. I absolutely love this project. I, I mean, yeah, this project is so fun. It's just such a fun project to work on because I've got all this infrastructure to build and I've got a skyline that is cool. Like my favorite thing about this skyline is this. I know I've been going on for like 12 minutes now uh, in this, flyover but let's just like this skyline my favorite thing about it is you've got this balance between the area on that side and the area on that side and then you've got the main tower in the center and I just think that's really cool you've got this really dense um, financial district over here with a bunch of really tall buildings but then over here it gets a little bit sparser but you still have this one focal point of that tower that we just placed and it and then you've got obviously the main focal point over here I think this is a really balanced skyline that is perfect for the purposes that I'm trying to go for here like that's a really nice balanced skyline and it's it's exactly what I'm going for and I'm really happy that I took the time and worked on this worked on a bunch of infrastructure and we're finally like we've got much more of a shape for how the city's gonna end up looking in the end now after this episode so i'm pretty happy with that so if you enjoyed and you want to see more hopefully more interesting episodes this was just a really necessary episode to do uh, but if you want to see more interesting episodes i uh, make sure to leave a like and uh, really just helps the videos helps more people find the channel you can subscribe if you're new around here and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever i upload a video uh, so you never miss an upload and you could i mean if you want to fly around the city like i am i'm doing right now like you could just download the save game if you want just hop on my patreon go over there and do that and the support is very much appreciated and uh if you really want you can just 
like fly around the city and look around like this, which is, I mean, I feel like just doing that is the best pitch for my Patreon. So check that out. And also, I mean, if you want videos early, uh, whenever I finish them, just check out my Patreon. You can do that, do that there as well. Uh, if you want your name in the credits, go over to the Patreon. That's that, all that stuff's over there. And the support is genuinely amazing. So thank you so much uh, for that. It helps me put all of this time into these videos. Um, but yeah, uh, if you uh, if you want to look at beautiful screenshots, like photorealistic screenshots, like something like this, like that's that's the, this is the type of thing, or even I don't know, this is like not even flattering enough. I mean, this looks like a photo, but not an insanely good photo. But I post stuff like this on my Instagram, so check that out if you if you want to. You could check out my Twitter where I post updates and whatever you normal like people normally post on Twitter, and then I also retweet like cycling uh, propaganda. So go over my Twitter for that. But that's about it. Hopefully you, like, hopefully you like the new Skyline. I sure do. I think it's awesome. And yeah, I enjoy these cinematics and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.